Finally, Yale University appears to be distancing itself from a psychiatrist who made some absolutely disgusting and sick comments. Take a listen to this. I had fantasies of unloading a revolver into the head of any white person that got in my way, daring their body, and wiping my bloody hands as I walked away relatively guiltless. With a bounce on my step, like I did the world favor. White people are out of their minds and they had been for a long time. I mean, she's a shrink. Unfortunately, she needs a good shrink, and she needs some serious meds, because that is sick, sick stuff. So I'm going now to comment uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, um, author of Woke, Inc., Inside Corporate America's Social Justice Scam. And I regret to say he isn't Yale alumni, but we'll forgive that, at least for purposes of this uh, particular segment. Uh, Vivek, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, first of all, nice to meet you. how long did it take Yale to? Uh, and how long did it take Yale to say something bad? And, and what did they say? Well, look, if, if you had imagined this being said in reverse, you could imagine the reaction. If this was against a different race, instead, mm. if it was against a minority, it would have been a, a, an explosion of really a scandal of a decade at Yale University. And I can say this as an alum: I'm ashamed by how reticent they were and how long it took them to come out and offer a meek apology. But this isn't a story about Yale. Like, this is about all of our institutions. This is an example of what I call woke supremacy. It's every bit as bad as white supremacy, except today I think it's an even bigger threat to the United States, because unlike white supremacy, woke supremacy has taken a foot in every major institution, from academia to companies to nonprofits. That is the dogma of today. And, you know, while many people may dismiss this one woman as a particularly hardline crazy, in some sense, that's letting it off the hook too easily, because she's actually emblematic of what the woke movement represents, even across other institutions where people don't say something quite as but, crazy, but mean it every bit as much. Without question, she's a crazy person. I mean, there's no question about that. Yeah. But I haven't seen that much critical commentary about this. I'm yeah, not going to say she actually... got all free, but this is not the kind of story you'd get from a Trump or a Ben Carson or a Tim Scott, you know, Uncle Tim, uh, he gave one of the most brilliant uh, counter statements on State Union. I mean, I haven't seen that much about her. It's almost like the media is giving her, by and large, something of a pass here. Well, there are two sets of rules. There's the sets of rules that happen when you are making statements in one side of the political, political spectrum, mm. and then there's the rest of the rules as well. These are the new woke rules. And for the woke rules, it's uncomfortable for institutional leaders usually to just look the other way, to not comment on it. In this particular case, she went so far across the line that they offered a meek apology instead. But this double standard isn't going to last long for Larry, and I think it isn't going to last for long. And I think we will look back decades from now today and look at the damage that we did to race relations in the name mm. of helping of helping minorities. Because if you think about it, yes, this is anti-white anti racism on its face. But quietly, that actually fuels a whole new wave of anti-black racism yes. in response. Yes, it and it will. starts this downward spiral that's really tearing that, apart our country at that, the seams. That's what Ben Carson says, by the way. That This will lead to no good, absolutely. Um, in your judgment, as you observe this, do you think that this woke racism business is on the defensive? Are, in fact, people, ordinary Americans, um, fighting it. You think they're going to go after it. People on the boards of education and parents, for example. Or, you know, you have this, the relief measure passed by, you know, Biden's relief, relief measure last winter. You can have debt assistance for small businesses, farms and ranches, but not if you're white. I mean, that kind of stuff. Look, I think it is going to get worse before it gets better. It will ultimately take people who are willing to stand up and say this is wrong. Right now, a lot of parents are pushing back. Most of them are doing it anonymously. I think more of them need to come out in the open and say that we're not going to tolerate it in our All schools. Right. We're not going to tolerate it in our communities Thanks. and not in our companies. Vivek Rousey, Thank thanks very much.